You know, we're reaching the halfway point of the show. Well, no, not quite. That was episode five. Next episode would be the halfway point. Um, it's really f fine's the best word I can come up with this season so far. It's fine. I mean, like all the acting's still great. It's like I'm really, I'm really impressed that for a cast like of just like this was like their first thing for the most most of them. I think like the most established actor was Dylan Minnette's and with the. Films like Don't Breathe and Goosebumps, of all things, but, uh, the, um, like, they all do, they all do a great job, like, um, I'm, and I'm glad a lot of them are, like, making a career off of this show for themselves, because they are really, they are really good, and, um, but the big problem this season is... So far, it really feels like this season was just made. Well, what, well, okay, I can, it was probably just made because um, uh, what was it? Because uh, this the first season was the shock hit for Netflix. Like um, like uh, I I still remember when <laughs> like I watched the show like when it like right when it came out because I really liked the league uh the not the legal <laughs> the. Um, the uh, creative team behind it, like it was like the career of the state, the guy who made the station age. It was like one of the lead uh, executive, uh, lead heads of the show, and uh, I saw the positive reviews. And I was like, I I'll watch it when it comes out, and I did, and I just liked it. I walked away from it, and it was only a few weeks later that was when it became the uh, complete juggernaut of controversy that it did that. I was kind of really fascinated by how this show did that, but uh, the. Big thing though is I said this when I started episode one of this season. A lot of what I liked about this show hinged on the idea there would never be a season two of it because what I love so much about the ending of season one is with so many shows and films nowadays feeling like they have to need, need to give clear cut answers and like definitive edit endings for everyone. This show kind of said hell to all of that and left things completely wide open, just saying, like, who the fuck knows if, like, what these the choices these characters are making at the end will be for the better or worse, and, um... And it fit the theme of the show, the whole idea you don't really know, like, how far-reaching your actions will be, and, uh... And, yeah, no, episode five, like, nothing, because, uh, uh, like... And, like, this season really just does feel like it's there to give conclusive answers to things, and I uh, just not, I prefer the whole, uh, who knows, and because I feel that's much more appropriate for this story, and, uh, I know there were certainly people who complained about that, that, like, you didn't see the rapist get what he was coming to him, but I prefer the idea, like, who knows, maybe he just did, never did, and, uh, the, um... But anyway, episode five, five though it, it it was just fine. It was still well acted, still well made. Um, it had the absolute gem of a line just when uh just uh when the, uh, Zach is talking to Wow. I just forgot the character's name. Well, where, where, where's 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 my cheat sheet? Uh, one sec. Uh, where is it? Where 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 are you? Uh, oh, Alex. When when Zach was talking to Alex, and Alex is like, I literally cannot feel things anymore. Like, I could, like after like you know, like I put a bolt through my head, and uh, just when Zach's just like, did you try porn? And he's like, yes, I tried porn. That <laughs> that got me up. That was that was really that was that was really well done. Uh, I think the, I think the big thing this season's missing at the moment is missing the anchor that. Dylan Minnette and Catherine Langford gave the first season, just how, even though I gave the show so much credit for actually spending a lot of time developing, like, every character so you could, you understood what drove them and why they were doing what they did, um, um, the, um, it was always focused on them. It was always those two more than anyone else. And this season, like, they will just have Clay and Hannah just sit out major part, like, hour, like, major parts of the show. And 
it really kind of does suffer from that because, like I said, the real heart of this series was these two actors, was these two characters, and just the fantastic chemistry the two actors had with each other, have with each other, and um, because so uh, like, yeah, no, like the ending was like really into it was like a laugh out of me just when Clay wakes up next to and Hannah's is just sitting there and just and he's just and Clay has his face like I can't believe I'm I'm in this fucking situation right now and so, and it's just like. Oh, don't be that way. I mean, look at that face. Isn't that a face you can trust? You just got to Justin looking like he's been through the ringer. That, that got a laugh out of me. And, uh, that and just when Clay's trying to find where the photo is. And then he's just like, I'll do this. And then has like, and, and then I'll be, be able to make it our case. And, and what? <laughs> he just uh, that got a laugh out of me. Uh, but I feel that's what this uh, season is really needing is, um, it lost its main heart, if that makes sense. But anyway, still, still on to episode six. Maybe things will, maybe we'll, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this, I'll like this season at the end of the day. But at the moment, I it really does feel like I would have, I like the story way more with the idea you don't know what happened to anyone. So, onwards.